everyone and welcome back to my channel Liana's Corner. Today I am showing you through the cross stitch magazines that I got. I've already done a separate video on that one. So I am going to show you the world of cross stitching. And this is the July issue 295. Um, I'm not sure what happened to June. But anyway. So you get this pretty vintage charm uh, little stitch pamphlet. Inside it you got the pattern and all the threads but you also got the information on the back. And that's the lady who designed it. So this would take about 15 hours. It's got you cross stitch, half stitch, back stitch and French knots. And it would be 11 three quarters by eleven and three quarters so um, you have to get that yourself the fabric and stuff this is the front of the magazine your a welcome page um, the content okay um, you've got meet a guest Okay, so first one we have is Fairy Tales, and this one is Unicorn Mouse. And I'm just covering the picture. How cute is she? So this one is a series. They have um, Monty doing soccer, and you got uh, Make Your Way to the Royal Highness Princess Lizzie in her ball gown, and Monty's doing gardening so if you want them you have to go into the back issues so you got your exclusive gift which you saw beforehand um this thing has got this um pre-order your collection and get one issue free um free delivery in the uk make special cards so if you went to cards making you got that deal um, each magazine you'll get gifts worth over 28 pounds in clean paper toppers stamps phone part cards envelopes so you yeah, say so if you're into cards you got that okay the first one which is the pattern on the front is welcome to paradise by k Widow some the two can and that will take about forty hours because it is a hundred and twelve high by eleven hundred and eleven wide. So the design is twenty five twenty point five by twenty centimeters, so eight and a half, eight eight by eight inches. Okay, you got your letters. Some more. Okay, we've got a design by Jenny Van de Wiel. Um, it's called Fit for King, celebrating the needlework of old with this traditional sampler design based off the iconic Hampton Court Palace. Um, down the bottom it's got Hampton Court Palace and the alphabet and numbers. I don't know if you can see that properly. And that is... 159 high and wide, so 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches. This one is by Amanda Gregory. Um, hold take, hold you, have it. <laughs> and that's what it is. Looks like um, you make into a glassy case.
Okay, this is by Jenny Barton, Sun, Sea and Sand. And she's done the letters to spell beach. And you get all the alphabets to make your own word or just do the alphabet together. Ask the expert. Got in the spotlight. And which granted um, someone wanted a border collie, so they got done. Your questions answered. Okay, this is by Maria Diaz, Picture of Perfection. Get lost in this dreamy snapshot of traditional Japan packed full of orient details and little treasures. That is really cute. And I think next month is you, you get the guy that matches. Um, if you want a subscription, you can get, um, say, 50 cent. Okay, up and away. Head to the skies with this high flying collection. So if you know any boys or girls who like flying or planes. So there's a couple more designs. But you also got some dra um, the flying dragons and UFOs and birds, so kites, so then you got one like a big alphabet, a smaller like you got one that's four high was the height, and then you got one that's F at capitals, which is two letters high, and then you got yet a small version. This is Shell McKinnon, Let the Fun Begin. So how cool are they? And it tells you like how you can make them to party invites. Our best seller, or our best buys. Sleepy Little Sleep, a oh, Sweet Little Sleepy Head by Ian Holland. So you can make it into a birth sampler or you can just leave the names and the date off and it'll be a cute little picture. And that is 127 high by 120 wide, so 9 by 83 quarter inches. And then you've got um, some alphabet numbers so you can um, suit to your need. Okay, this is by Diane Mackin. Time to craft. How cool is that? So see the value of the moment before it becomes a memory. That's really nice. Then it shows you how to um, make it into a hanger. And then that she got a spotlight on her as well. Um, enter to win. Like always. It's already closed. Okay, this is by Doreen Jones. Tropical treat. Um, so it's like a place mark. And then you cross stitch and you can another area and you can put your knife and forks or spoons in or whatever else you want. Um, something different but I'll be scared when people ruin in my beautiful cross stitch. And it tells you how to make your own placemats. 
We've got to take a break, so games. And what's coming in next month, so got the jellyfish, the a little mouses that we see they are you know wedding. Um, that's a samurai to go with the girl we saw before. Um, some birthday work cards. Uh, Forever Friends exclusive, so you got this cute little bear of flowers. And this is the uh, hot shot chart you're gonna get, which is a Dream Jones exclusive. And then your R2 guide again. So yes, so that was the World of Cross Stitching July version. So I hope you enjoy that. And if you did, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.